What's up Capricorns and welcome to your vibes. All right, so we're gonna be jumping into it. And what I kept getting for you is once in a lifetime find. You are a once in a lifetime find. Now we know everybody's different. Nobody is the same person, right? But then there are just those extraordinary people who are just, you know, unforgettable. And it's like, yeah, I can have and meet and, you know, all these 8 billion people on the planet. It's like, yeah, I can meet other people, but there's only one Capricorn. And either yourself, you about to realize, or maybe someone else is going to realize you are a once in a lifetime find, which means out of all the people on this earth, I'm only going to see you once. I'm only going to have you once. I'm going to have the opportunity to be in your life once, because once you're gone, all the rest of the people on earth, there's no more you. Okay. And so I don't know if you recognize or understand how you are or you're, how rare you are, uh, or if this is someone maybe popping into this understanding about you, but whatever, how, whoever is coming from, the light bulb is going off, okay? The light bulb is going off. Capricorn, you are a once in a lifetime find. Okay. Now I'm going to be jumping into the spread. Make sure you guys are interacting with the video because I'm doing the individual signs, but I'm looking for the signs who are like really into having their individual sign done. Okay. Um, if the numbers do not reflect the interest, then it will be discontinued from the channel. Somebody tell Aries they're going to be discontinued. Okay. But yeah, if the numbers don't reflect, then the individual sign will not be done. So make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, uh, comment on the video and just, you know, make yourself known. Let me know that you want the individual read for your sign, okay? Now, let's jump into these vibes. The center of the reading for Capricorn is the tower. So right away, I feel as though this is someone who didn't know. They didn't know Capricorn was a once in a lifetime find. So like I was saying, uh, it could be someone who's coming into that understanding, right? The light bulb has gone off or maybe the lightning strike has hit, right? And also, you see how it's a lightning strike? You know, they say it's like one in a million chance that you'll be hit by lightning. Okay, you would be that one. It's like out of all these people, how is lightning gonna strike me? But it does. And this is what I mean by it's so rare, right? Out of all of the people on the earth, it's a one million percent chance you'll get hit by lightning, but then you get struck by lightning. It's like, oh, I knew it, you know? So it works both ways. Either you're crashing into this realization, I'm a once in a lifetime fan, or someone else is realizing this about you. But whatever, however it's coming across, it's like shocking, okay? Let us see what is it crossed by though. Ooh, the eight of wands. Now the eight of wands is information, it's news. So you know what it is? Somebody must have heard about you. That's immediately what it is because in this deck, they're connecting with other planets. We finally have communication, right? With other planets. We can speak intergalactically now. We can talk to the aliens, right? But on earth, this more so just means there has been communication. Word has gone around, okay? Word of mouth has happened. Uh, somebody was sitting next to someone, someone, they was like, did you hear about Capricorn? No, nah, I didn't hear what happened to Capricorn. Oh, they hit the lottery. Boom, that blows somebody else's mind. Did you see Capricorn? And then they pull up the phone and they show the person and boom, there's Capricorn. And then it's, it's the realization once in a lifetime find, okay? So there has been some communication about Capricorn. Maybe it's going on in a different place, like far away from where you are. Remember, they don't have another planet. So it's information that has been happening far away from where you are. And far away could be in a different city. I'm going to let this fire truck pass and I'll continue with the reading. All right. So let's get to the deep root of things. What's at the bottom of the deck for Capricorn? Ooh, the hermit. So quiet. I just need some time to myself. You could have been off the scene. You had, could have gone to, you know, following your own path. And this is what may set you apart and make you so different because it's like, this person does not follow the crowd. This person does not do what's normal and conventional. This person doesn't have to be at every event to show their face or to make sure everybody know that they're there or who they are. In fact, Capricorn, you having this mysterious like energy is what's making people 
talk, what's, what's, it's what's the buzz, okay, that's happening. Um, and also, again, you could have felt like, listen, I'm just kind of fading back for a minute. You've been in maybe a season or a period of isolation where you've been learning and discovering about yourself. And, you know, it's so interesting, too, because, like, you're coming into the realization of who you are, the type of power you possess, and what it is you can actually do. But a lot of that comes from sitting by yourself, by talking to God, by going on your nature walks, by being near water, right, using the elements to your advantage. And this is you understanding, listen, I'm rare, I'm different, and being a part of the crowd is just not in your structure, okay? And if you've been in a season of isolation, that's okay, because God has been wanting to reveal some things to you about yourself, some things, some, some special nuggets, some special golden nuggets, or like some light bulbs that will be turned on at a certain time in your life. And in order for those light bulbs to be turned on, right, different skills and gifts and talents within you activated, you got to be alone. You got to be away from certain people, right? I know there were times in my life where God had things stored up for me. He wanted to tell me. He wanted to show me. But the people I was hanging around, I probably would have said something. You know, they would probably try to sabotage it. So for some of you guys, you got gifts. You got things that God wants to give you, put into your life a reality that God wants you to have. But there may be certain people who he can't give it to you in front of. I know one time in my life, I got away from one person. Boom, here come a million blessings. And I'm like, are you kidding me? So the reason you wasn't giving me what you were supposed to give me was because that person? And now I know, okay, when God say, step away, move to the side, I will, because I want my blessings, okay? Let's see what happened in the recent past, though. The sun card. Another major arcana, I pulled four cards, and out of all the cards, three of them are majors. So when I say you're a once in a lifetime, fine, that's a major statement. Because I don't say that to everybody. This is major what we're talking about. I need you to tune in to who you really are. But anyway, you may have found some happiness in the past. Remember I was just telling you all about how God want to give you blessings, but maybe in front of the certain people, it's like, I don't know yet. You know, God love everybody, right? But it's just certain stuff got to be in place in order for you to receive what you supposed to proceed right and so this sun card is talking about ultimate happiness so maybe you've been in isolation or maybe you found the right people and it led you to ultimate happiness or for some of you all this could be coming up okay whatever time you're in but the i keep getting the ultimate right the things that you wanted the things that you prayed for that you asked for the things that you couldn't stop thinking about that type of happiness. And we're not talking about necessarily materialistic things all the time because the happiness can come in the form of genuine joy, genuine peace, right? Genuine love. All right, so in the recent past, you may have also found and discovered something that you love. And you're being told, follow that. Follow that passion. Follow that thing that made you happy. But people don't agree. People don't like it. People make fun of me. It doesn't matter. Follow it anyway. Even if you have to, you know, start off getting comfortable doing your thing by yourself. And then over time, something grows or you meet the right tribe of people. Your community enlarges, right? However it applies to you, just follow that thing that you love, okay? Follow that thing you love. But some of y'all found something and it's making you really happy. Let's see. Let's keep going. Whoa. I said it's making you really happy. These two cards flipped over. Now look at these. This is the lovers, another major arcana. And that is the six of cups. And both of these are the number six. Okay, so this six of cups is all about like the past, of course, you know, traditional meanings, the memories, the nostalgia. But this is connected to a lover. So you, okay, let me get this straight, Capricorn. Somebody from your past is thinking about you. Y'all had a great relationship. You love this person, this person loved you. But then, if some kind of way it didn't happen because the Six of Cups is talking about it's in the past, right? So it may not have worked out in the future. You went into a season of isolation. You found something that makes you truly happy, gives you genuine joy. And then maybe you said something, maybe you posted something, maybe you went somewhere and boom, there was a communication about you. So this is something you don't know. And that communication about you caused the tower moment in this ex lover, this lover from the past. Wow, Capricorn. Now this card jumped out. I have not seen it yet, so let's see. It's the nine of cups. The nine of cups is all about wish fulfillment, dreams coming true, emotional satisfaction. Man, 
Capricorn, don't tell me you moved on from somebody and found your happiness. Remember I was just saying a second ago that a lot of times in my life, or you know, a few times throughout my life, I would be around the wrong people. And as soon as I got away from them people, here come my dreams. Here come the things that really make you happy. Here comes your emotional fulfillment. Remember, I was just saying it's not necessarily about material things, but it's your genuine happiness. It's genuine joy. It's genuine love. It's genuine peace. Like all of those things can be your dream as well. But again, connecting back with this sun card, some of you guys found something that you really love. And I was saying, pursue that passion. Do that thing that you found that you really, really love because that's your dream. For some of you all, your dreams are literally about to come true. But one person's happiness could be somebody else's tower. Drake, it's funny how somebody else's success brings pain. Also, for some of you guys, you found a new love and this could have been a person from the past, okay? You're gonna have to take this how it applies. If an ex comes back around, it's because they learned about a, something that made you happy. But also it's just like the nerve. Cause it's like the tower card. It's like <gasps> Capricorn, you left this job and did better. Capricorn, this relationship is over, but you're happier. Like, I don't get it. Okay. But it all speaks to the once in a lifetime find. Okay. You know what too? I'm getting unusual. You're about to do something unusual or you already did something unusual. Again, I was just saying, because I got that, but they don't do it. And my friends don't do it. And my family don't like it, da -da, but follow that passion anyway. Okay, it's unusual, but it's what you love. In this next season, Capricorn, do me a favor. Do not diminish what you love because it makes someone else uncomfortable. Not this season. Because where you're headed, where you're going, man, it could be out of this world, you know. Eight of Wands, communications from different planets. Okay, take it out of class. Let's see what's coming up in the near future for Capricorn. Ah, the Page of Cups. This is like, remember I was saying genuine joy, genuine happiness, all that kind of stuff? It's like being a child again. You know how you wake up every day? But imagine you a child, you wake up every day, it's Christmas. Every day I wake up, it's going to be some new gifts under the tree. So today, I'm going to find my peace. And then tomorrow, I'm going to find genuine happiness. And then the next day, I'm going to be with my genuine friends who really love and care about me. And then the next day, I'm surrounded by family and loved ones who really love me. And the next day, I'm surrounded by goodies and treats. And then I'm going shopping and blah, blah, blah. whatever the case may be. It's a progression. But this card to me is screaming childlike joy, childlike fun, childlike energy. For some of y'all, you may be finding out that you about to have a child okay but for some of you guys that could be your dream come true and for some of y'all you may say oh but my family not gonna be happy because i'm not married or my family this or my people that or people gonna say this and that let them say what they say because guess who's gonna be happy though okay i was telling a different sign i forgot what sign it was but i'm gonna say the same thing to you capricorn your happiness matters it does so put that at the top of the list this season okay your happiness but anyway this page of cups you're using your intuition, like your intu your intuitive vibes are strengthening. You may not be a psychic, right? You got skills and they can grow over time, all right? Your emotions, that's one thing I'm picking up for somebody, your emotions, like uh, some something, I don't know who this is for, it might be for one person, I'm hearing something, something is not as sad as you think it is like you're really sad about something but it's really not that sad no offense to your feelings your feelings are well respected over here but it's just you don't have to be that sad because sometimes what seems like a tower is just a setup so the sun can shine right that tower in the way move tower boom now we can see the sun okay so it's a it's a bright light at the end of the tunnel or there's a bright light at the end of the road Okay, we got these roads. This one is leading to the sun and this one is riding off into the sunset. Okay, and that beautiful brand new car. So let's see what's your fear. Now Capricorn, we know this world can be a scary place, but it's really nothing to fear as long as you know you got God, right? So let's see what's, what fear we need to banish right now. But this can also be a fear coming from the outside in, an oppressive fear from someone else an oppressive fear from someone else. Like, yeah, Capricorn moved on. 
and they're actually happier. I don't want to say it's a slap to the face, but that's the only phrase I'm getting. Like, yeah, that's a, that's a bummer. And it's not to say that the person who is thinking this or feeling this way is necessarily wrong. You know, when you think about it, you're like, oh man, I thought they was going to move on from me and at least be, you know, a little broken apart. I didn't know they was going to move on so fast. I didn't know they was going to get happy so fast. I didn't know that we would fire them and they would open their own company so fast. I didn't know we would put them out of their place unfairly and they would find a house so fast. I didn't think that that would happen, but it did. And someone is afraid that that's it. That's a wrap. This world car in the fear position is one of two things for you. It's either one, the person fears, they wrapped up the cycle, it's over with, you moved on, you're happy, you're done, boom, that's their tower. But for some of y'all, remember I was telling you follow your passion, follow the thing you love, it may be a dream come true even if other people don't agree. This is you stepping on a world stage doing what you love. Your gift, your skills, and your talents are making room for you. And it just so happened that the room is making for you is the size of a planet. So some of y'all get used to your gift, skills, and talents being recognized. Get used to doing what you love and, oh my God, why am I getting so much, so much? Like, why am I receiving so much? I'm doing what I love. That's the gift, right? Nope. You're doing what you love and still things come in because what you put out is what you receive back. So if you put in out the energy of, I love this, I love this, I love this, then guess what energy is being returned to you? Oh, we love Capricorn too. Oh, 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 oh. And we ain't talking about people. We just talking about energy. We just talking about vibrations. Like Capricorn on the, I love this vibe. Well, you got to send it back most stuff that they love. Okay. Once in a lifetime rare. That's what I was getting that I was going to say. Um, it's the reason why your, your stuff is going on a world stage because you cannot deny what you're about to do. It can't be denied. It can't be hidden. Ain't something in the Bible like that, like a lamp ain't meant to be hidden or something like that. Like the light is not supposed to be under the table. It's supposed to be on top of the table. So, you know, it can illuminate the room and that's what's happening. Let's see what's, um, and it don't mean everybody about to be famous. Da, da, da. I'm just saying, do what you love and some stuff is opening up. But let's see what you look like at this time. This is how you look. Okay. Um, now, this page is very intellectual, very smart, but you look like an observer. Okay. Remember we had this um, hermit card. This, these two cards in my deck is, they are related. They're interrelated. That's why they both have on hoods and they both have on purple. Um, but one of them shows their face. One of them is a little bit more secretive. So you may pop in and out of different various places. You might pop up at your friend's house, pop up at your kid's house, pop up at, you know, the old job, pop up at, you know, wherever you pop up and you come through, but you don't say much. That's why it's hermit energy is still here. You don't say nothing. You just kind of calm, cool, collected. You peep the scene. You observe. You take notes in your mind. And you don't necessarily have to spill the beans, right? You are a gatherer of information. Very smart, though. And sometimes when you not saying something, but you collecting information, people may say, that's sneaky. Or you're doing things, you're building things behind the scenes quietly, and it has people curious about, well, what are you doing? Well, why are you so quiet? Well, how come you're not making announcements? Right? So this can be your energy or this is, could be how the other person is looking at you. Okay. Remember I told you there's some information gathering happening behind the scenes and it may be causing a tower. If you broke up with somebody or you moved out from somewhere or you got fired from some type of job and this person comes peeking in, they're not going to see you down and out and sad and crying and terrible. No, they're going to see the sun. For some of y'all, you left one relationship and your ex looked you up and you was at the altar with somebody else. It's like, wow. Okay. But it's not bad. It's not a low vibrational energy. It's just, wow. I wasn't expecting that. And whatever you do is so rare. And it don't even have to be a rare thing. It's the way you do it is rare. That's what makes it stand out. That's what makes it researchable. Right? So what's the hope this turned over? I mean, this jumped out. I haven't seen it yet. I'm about to turn it over. Uh, for your hopes though, what do you hope for? Where's your headspace at? Or what is the hope from another person looking in at this rare Capricorn? How I know this was going to come out. How did I know? Okay. So you see this guy, he's sitting at the computer. He's doing his research. what I just say? You're researchable. Okay. Your social media, they can pull that up. 
right? Maybe for someone at the job, they have been um, looking in or doing some type of research, right? But with this card, the, this Knight of Wands is very driven. This Knight of Wands will stop at nothing to get what they want. They're willing to put in the hard work. They're willing to do the research. They are willing to give everything it takes to find what they are looking for, okay? This is a messenger type energy. So as you can see, he's on a computer, he's doing his research, he's very diligent in what he's, what he's looking for, what he's searching for. So if this is the other party's energy looking in on you, they're hoping to find something. They're hoping to see something. This is the person doing the research, watching your social media, right? But this, if this is your energy, this is you maybe researching and learning and studying and going head first into your passions, what it is that you love. And when I say jumping in head first, I mean like, you know, jumping into the research part, really studying, you know, um, other people who are in that field or, you know, really putting in the work to learn and hone your craft, right? All of these things are important. And so if this is the energy that you've been putting in, it's no wonder you're so rare. Because a lot of times people do what I just said, they jump in head first and without doing the proper research, without you know really honing their skills and then they get mediocre results. But this here is you deciding, baby, we don't do mediocre, okay? It may start mediocre, but it's not gonna end like that. It's gonna end sun card. It's gonna end with dreams coming true. I don't know who this is for, Never despise small beginnings. There's a progression as well. First, it starts as the page. Then there's a promotion to the night. Okay, so there's a progression happening with whatever it is that you have going on. Last card for Capricorn, the Three of Wands. Okay, so in this deck, he he ordered a UFO and it's on the way. It's, on, it's, it's coming in like an Uber, right? But he's leaving the planet and he's never been on a UFO before. He know he going out of this world. He know it's going to be a crazy trip. He know he going to see things he ain't never seen before. But he don't necessarily know what's happening. So it's the fear of the unknown, right? But it's the excitement of the unknown as well. Some of y'all are elevating. You're moving to a new level. You possibly could be moving towards a new relationship or you're going full-fledged with your gift, your skills, your talents. Some of y'all can already be in your gift, your skills, your talents. But there's a new level coming. There's a new element being added. There's a portal opening and there's a new dimension that you're about to step into. Okay. So just like he's standing there waiting on this Uber and he's afraid, he's also excited. And that's the way you need to be. Minus the fear, right? We're going to remove the fear, but we're going to keep the excitement. Okay. Now this was a fantastic spread Capricorn once in a lifetime fine. Look at the nine of cups, the sun card, the lovers. Okay. Then we got the hermit. You was back there chilling, trying to get your mind right, trying to get your downloads from God. The uh, the world card, I mean, hitting that stage. But then, boom, we started out. That tower hit like, wow, that tower could have been for you. It could be for another person. But it's something about where you're headed that has you excited, has me excited for you. And I really think you're going to like where you end up. May not be a familiar place. He's leaving off the planet. So some of y'all are leaving your comfort zone and you will be in a whole nother world. But I really do think you're going to like not just where you end up, but I think you're going to enjoy the journey to getting there as well. Okay. So that's what I get for you guys. Thank you so much Capricorn for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe and share. And I'll see y'all in the next video.